hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will talk about one of the very important topic data security in clicksense so data security in clicksense is known as the section access if you would uh, see its notes or its uh, documentation section access is what uh, is referred to as the security or the data security and it has some components that you need to configure into the script so section uh, whenever you need to apply the data security you need to specify the section access and it should be the very first script into your uh, clicksense document so section access implies that uh, we are now going to specify the script the security script into the clicksense application and uh, how we specify is uh, generally by specifying the load star inline that means an inline table into the clicksense where we specify first the these four different fields that means the access whether it is a user or admin what is a user id on which column we need to specify the reduction and if any other column that we need to remove from the perspective of uh, user that user should not see it all right so what i meant by that is over here if you see access is user level this is ad domain admin and admin should see all the order priorities and no need to omit any other field from the uh, from the uh, domain admin second one is the user which is uh, ad domain and uh, we have mentioned as praveen and uh, praveen should uh, see only the order priority one and uh, every other field which is present in the data set third is the uh, user mike which is uh, we should see the order priority value two and uh, should not see the efficiency column and uh, then you have the third user rita which is also a normal user it should see he sh she should see the order priority three and uh, it should not she should not see the pri profit column and finally we have an admin user who and this is important that you should have this as a and it is an internal ssh scheduler because um, that that is a person or that is an ad, uh, admin or a user who will going to look at the security script in case if everything fails or no nobody is able to access and going to reload it for you once this is done that means we have got the semicolon and at the end then you need to you must specify the section application and that's where your normal load script will going to come and uh, after that the only thing is this order priority column should match with the load table which is in the sec which is in the normal load scenario that means with the table which we have been seeing there we had the order id um, order priority ship mode and all those things so on which column you need to specify the data reduction you need to specify it over here and it should have a connection with that uh table so if i so over here um what i have is the order priority and what i need to do is if i am specifying it then i need to specify like as order underscore priority right and now this column will match with my script which i had shown you in the um in the presentation which is this so data security in click sense uh, order underscore priority column is here order underscore priority column is here it should match but ideally how it should happen is we come here we keep this over here and we say it uh, data security maybe and come over here we will copy this entire piece and just put it over here and that will be your first script it will have the order priority column will match with the section over here which is this and it will implement the security now the only thing is that uh, you will not be able to see its impact until unless you are loading the application into the server because that's where your data reduction comes into the picture and uh, you will be able to test whether this data security is working fine or not but i mainly wanted to show you the script the basic idea behind the data security and how you should 
how you were going to implement it and things that you need to take care when you are implementing it so one last thing which i would really really advise you and you should really write it somewhere that whenever you are thinking even thinking of applying data security please create a duplicate copy of your work if something will happen you will lose all your work so i really don't want that to happen and i have been talking that about uh, since the days i have been posting the click view videos so even in this click sense we would really not like to take any chance and uh, create a duplicate copy and then start thinking about what what you need to do in terms of data security and start playing around with that i really don't want that you are losing all your work so that's pretty much it i have for you and i will meet you in the new video the new topic